Now, let me go straight away to the word and try to be as brief as I can. Wacha niende kwa neno na jaribu kuwa na kufupisha niweza hiyo. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1. Let's go back there. Ezekiel moja mstari wa kwanza. That is the word of our year. Hilo ndilo neno letu la mwaka. In the, as we go to the contents of the year. Tunapoingia katika yaliyomo mwaka ni huu. Amen. Ezekiel 1:1. 1:2:3. In, in the last year, 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 in the fourth month, on the, on the fifth fifth day, while day, while I was among the exiles by the Cape River, the heavens were open, and I saw the visions of God. In this first service of the year 2019, let me repeat to us, the year 2019, to us in the reverence church, it is our year of open heaven. We believe that this year, God will open the heavens to release our blessings, our increase, our good health, God will cause us to see Mungu atasababisha kuona heaven and earth bingu na dunia being connected zikiunganishwa in fact we are coming from the year of uh, of kingdom manifestation umetoka katika mwaka wa madhihirisho ya kifalme but to me lakini kwangu i also pray i also see like the year 2019 is a continuation of the year of kingdom manifestation ninaona kwangu mwaka 2019 ni kuendeleza mwaka wa 2018 mwaka wa madhihirisho ya kifalme kwa nini because jesus said when you pray yesu alisema unapoomba pray our father in heaven omba baba yetu uliye mbinguni harward be thy name jina lako litukuzwe thy kingdom ufalme wako uje thy will be done on earth as it is in mapenzi yako yafanyike duniani kama yalivyo mbinguni please so talk to me tuongeleshane bwana sifiwe your will be done on earth as it is in heaven That means hiyo inamaanisha year of open heaven mwaka wa bingu iliyofunguka it is a near whereby the will of god that is in heaven may be done on the earth ni mwaka wa mapenzi ya mungu yaliyo mbinguni yakifanyika hapa duniani and kingdom manifestation na madhihirisho ya kifalme is whereby the will of god in heaven is done on the earth ni wakati mapenzi ya mungu yaliyo mbinguni yanafanyika hapa so, duniani to me i see Kwangu the year na... of open heaven Mwaka, and the year of kingdom manifestation is having the same connotation mwaka wa bingu iliyofunguka na mwaka ya binguni yote yakiwiana because both of them kwa sababu zote mbili it is about tapping to the spiritual ni kuhusu kuguza kwenye ulimwengu wa roho and the spiritual taking place in the earth na mambo ya kiroho yakifanyika hapa duniani i want you to see ezekiel ningependa uone ezekiel he is one of the captives yeah, in ni, babylon ni mmoja wa mateka babiloni and he went on the and he has been seeking god na amekuwa kitafuta mungu and on this specific day na katika siku hii ya kipekee that year mwaka wa 30 in the fourth month katika mwezi wa 4 on the fifth day katika siku ya 5 while he was among the exiles akiwa kati ya mateka and by they were by a river called Keba river walikuwa kwenye ufuo wa mtu ambao unaitwa the heavens were open bingu zikafunguka and i saw na nikaona the visions of god maono ya bingu ya mungu and during the time of crossing the year wakati jumping wakati, the year wakati wa kuvuka mwaka i shared with us five keys nilishiriki nasi of open or that i believe god is going to use to cause us to operate in open heaven this year bado mungu atatumia kutusaidia kufungua bingu and we to see in ezekiel na tukaziona kwenye ezekiel number 1 kwanza he the writing like that very fast kama unaandika andika it is what we call ni kile tunachoita the principle of appointed time ni kanuni ya majira yaliyotengwa the season majira that is why Ezekiel is saying on the day Yosipa. the month and the year Ezekiel anaongelea kuhusu mwaka mwezi na wa, it wakati it is the appointed time ni wakati uliowekwa wakfu and i believe with all my heart ninaamini na moyo wote 2019 it is our appointed season ni majira yetu yaliyotengwa it is our appointed time ni wakati wetu uliotengwa remember that was my message for christmas kumbuka ndio ulikuwa ujumbe wangu wa christmas in galatians 4:4 katika wagaratia 4:4 give me galatians 4:4 wagaratia 4:4 galatians 4:4 wagaratia 4:4 this was the message in christmas in everybody everybody, everybody read me if you can but when, when the time had, had fully come, come god sent his son born of a woman 
born under the law to redeem us from the law so that we may receive adoption you must be reef lazima uamini just like the time came for the for Ezekiel to see the open heaven kama vile muda ulivyofikia wa Ezekiel kuona bingu ya kukuta 2019 2019 is our time ni wakati wetu of appointed wa uliotengwa it is an appointed Time. Ni wakati uliotengwa to walk in the blessings of God. Wa kutembea katika baraka za Mungu. To receive your open doors. Pokea milango yako wazi. To receive your blessing. Pokea baraka zako. Now whatever I am speaking now release your faith. Chochote nasema sasa achilie imani. Today it is a service that you need to release your faith. Leo ni ibada ya kuachilia imani yako. Because what you capture today will take you the rest of the accomplishment of the year. Maana yake utakachonyaka leo kitakuingiza katika kukamilisha makosa. Somebody lift up your hand with me. Say, say I declare I declare 2019 2019 is my appointed time is my appointed time Somebody say I declare I declare 2019 2019 is my appointed season is my appointed season for blessing for blessing for healing for healing for favor for favor for victory for victory for accomplishment for accomplishment for breakthrough for breakthrough in my life in my life in my career in my career in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus And because you are in the appointed time kwa sababu uko katika majira yaliyotengwa what did not happen in 2018 kile hakikufanyika mwaka 2018 what happened for you in the year 2019 kikutendekee mwaka 2019 what you lost in the year 2018 ulitapoteza mwaka 2018 you gain it double fold in the year 2019 ukipokea maradufu mwaka 2019 what did you did not achieve kile ukweza kufikia maybe you are still waiting for your kingdom manifestation bado unangojea madhilisho yako ya ufalme let come up of this year in the name of our Lord Jesus mwaka huu somebody say i release my faith i release my faith that the year 2019 that the year 2019 is my appointed time my appointed time in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus how many are with me how many are with me i'm gonna see few hallelujah may this year be your appointed time for promotion mwaka huu mwaka wako uliotengwa wa kupezwa kwa may it be appointed time for you to receive a uh, to receive uh, a spouse in your life Uwe. and to get married and to marry uwe mwaka uliotengwa wa wewe kupata mchumba kuolewa na kuolekwa may it be the appointed time Uwe. for God to release those children you have been waiting for God to release uwe mwaka uliotengwa wa watoto hao kuachiliwa na Mungu ambao ulikuwa unatarajia Mungu aachilie in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu may it be the appointed time Uwe. for your favor wakati uliotengwa wa kibali chako may the favor of God overtake your labor in the year 2019 kibali cha mungu kivuka kizidi juhudi zako katika mwaka 2019 because it is appointed time kwa sababu ni wakati uliotengwa number 2 pili this is what happened to Ezekiel number 2 haya ndio alifanyika kwa Ezekiel it is about where he was He says while I was by among the exile by the Keba River. Akiwa kati ya mateka katika muto wa Keba. It is the principle of divine positioning. Ni kanuni ya kuwekwa mahali na ipa kiungu. God will position you in a certain place. Mungu atakuweka mahali fulani. In a certain time. Wakati fulani. So that he may release, he may connect you with what he is about to do. Ili ya kunganishe na kile ya kotayari kufanya. And in the year 2019. Na katika mwaka 2019. I had the loss. Na hisi bwana akisema may you be positioned hebu kawekwe mahali katika mahali that you shall not miss god ambapo utakosana na mungu may you be positioned in the house of god kawekwe ndani ya nyumba ya mungu may you be a pillar in the house of god uwe kizingiti katika nyumba ya mungu somebody say my father my father my father my father in the year 2019 in the year 2019 make me a pillar in your house in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus you know what that means it means you cannot be found anywhere else except in the house of god because you are a pillar if you remove this pillar from this tent this tent will collapse so 
time this tent will be here you will meet this pillar when God makes you a pillar in his house it means you are always there you will always be found in the house because you have realized you are a pillar you are a pillar I say you are a pillar in the house of God but for those for those pieces of metal that are outside there you can remove anyone and nobody shall notice why it is not as important as this one when you become a pillar in the house of God when you become a man and a woman of value and that is divine position Ezekiel was positioned among the exiles and yet on that day in that month in that year while I was by the Keba river the heavens opened I believe Ezekiel could not have seen the open heaven if he was in another place it had to be by the Keba river and I believe the house of worship is where God shall release your blessing and cause your heavens to be open because you are positioned here and you know you are here ni mahali mungu atakuachilia baraka zake kwa sababu umewekwa hapa kiungu umewekwa hapa number 3 tatu number 3 tatu Ezekiel said while he was among the exile that means he was a slave but he never allowed his condition and situation to dictate that he could hear God and see God you must not allow your condition or situation to dictate what to see God or to hear God. He never allowed his situation to dictate. And I tell somebody here it doesn't matter your situation. When God has said it is your season it is your appointed time this is your positioning for your open heaven don't allow your situation to hinder your blessings. Amen. Amen. How many are with me? That is what the secret of Mary, the mother of Jesus. When she was told you are going to conceive and bring forth a baby, she never said, I am a nobody. She never said, I am a virgin. I have never known a man. So it is impossible. She never said, I don't belong to anybody. She said, said may it be unto me ifanyike kwangu as the angel has said kama vile malaika amesema don't allow your situation to dictate your blessing usiruhusu hali yako iamue baraka zako number 4 ya nne number 4 ya nne this is very important ya ni ya muhimu he says the heavens were open anasema bingu zikafunguka it is not Ezekiel who opened the heavens sio Ezekiel aliyefungua bingu it is God himself ni who mungu. opened the heavens mwenyewe aliyefungua bingu hallelujah hallelujah now this means two things number one when God want to bless to bless you he will do it with or without your effort it is God who opened the heaven for you he found favor not because of his labor not because of who he wants that is why the Bible says we are saved by Grace. The heavens were open. It is not Ezekiel who opened the heavens. It is God who opened the heavens. You cannot open your heavens for yourself. It is God who opens the heavens. Somebody please hear this. Don't miss what I'm saying now. You can not 
open your heavens. Uwezi fungua bingu lako. The heavens are not in your control. Bingu haziko chini ya mamlaka yako. The Bible says there are the heaven and the earth belong to God. Biblia inasema bingu na dunia ni zake Mungu. Ili fate tesi written. Imeandikwa the earth, the heavens is the seat of God. Bingu ndio kiketi cha Mungu. And the earth is his footstool. Nayo dunia ndio mahali pa kukanyaga. And the earth he has given to the sons Kanya, of men. Kanya, di dunia ameipatia kwa wana wa But the heavens belong to God. Lakini bingu ni ya Mungu. You cannot and I cannot open the heavens for myself. Hawezi na siwezi kujifungulia bingu binafsi mwenyewe. It takes God to open the bread gates and the blessings and the windows of heaven. Inachukua Mungu kufungua malango na madirisha ya utele wa bingu. That means hiyo inamaanisha Ezekiel had to walk with God. Ezekiel lazima angeandamana na Mungu so that God may open his heaven. Ili Mungu akumfungulie bingu beside having the favor with God. Kando na kuwa na kibali na Mungu. Now notice he was among other exiles. The others they never saw the open heaven. Mungu alikuwa kati ya mateka wengine na wengine hawakuona bingu iliyofunguka. There are people who are going to be around you. Kuna watu watakuwa karibu na wewe. And they may say I never saw anything. Na watasema hawajaona chochote. Why? Kwa nini? Because they are not operating in the same level of favor as you will attract. Kwa sababu hawatembei katika kibali kama kile ambacho wewe unavutia. Yeah, you attract the favor of God this year. Ukavutia kibali cha Mungu mwaka huu. I accept. Let me look for people who are who look like believer. May you attract the favor of God this year. Hebu kavutia kibali cha Mungu mwaka huu. I say I am looking for men and women who are Attract the favor of God this year. Are you one of them? How many are there? How many are there? Lift up your hands and with me. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the year 2019. In the year 2019. May you cause me. May you cause. To attract your favor. To attract your favor. That my heavens. That my heavens. May be opened. May be opened. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Number two. There are principles of the kingdom that you must apply for your heavens to open. Kuna kanuni za ufalme lazima uzitendeze kazi ili bingu lako lifunguke. It does not just happen. Haifanyiki tu. And I say this and I will say it again. Nikasema hivi na nitarudia. That is why the Bible talks about bringing your time. Joseph Biblia inasema kuhusu kuleta fungu lako la 10. Marakai chapter 3 verse 10. Maraki 3 mstari wa 10. In fact it is one of the principles to have heavens open. Ni moja hapa ya kanuni ya kufungua bingu. And it is I said it when I had the word of open heaven. Na nikalisema niliposikia hili neno la bingu kufunguka. 2019. Mwaka 2019 will be a very difficult year for non tithers. Utakuwa mwaka mgumu sana kwa wasiotoa bingu. Because one of the ways to to have open heavens open is for bringing your time moja hapa ya njia kupata bingu zikifunguka ni kuleta fungu la everybody read it with me 1 2 3 bring the whole 1 2 bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house test me in this says the lord almighty and see if i will not do what throw open throw open what the flood gates of heaven the flood gates of heaven amen now somebody up Shake them shake them shake them tell them one of the principles one of the principles you are not shaking your neighbor you know some of you you fear your neighbors shake them when i say shake them inamaanisha tikiza ya baka askia baka apate kusikia bwana asifiwe wagonga gonga hivi waambie one of the principles one of the principles to open your heavens to open your heavens is full tithing full tithing mwambie ni fungu la 10 ni fungu la 10 lote bwana asifiwe amen do you see that unaona hiyo unaona hiyo What does God say? Mungu asema when you bring the whole time. Unapoleta fungu la 10 lote kamilifu. I will throw open the flood gates of heaven. Nitafungua milango ya utele wa mbinguni. And I will pour you such a blessing. Nitakumwagia baraka. And you will not have room to cook. Hakuna na nafasi ya kuweka. Amen. Amen. Now if you don't you are not a tither, one of the things you can be sure about is impossible to operate in a place called open kama heaven. wewe husi mtu wa fungu kitu cha kuwa na hakika nacho ni kwamba uwezi itembea katika sehemu hiyo I pity fungu. you ninakuhurumia you better start to be a tither kukuwa mtu wa fungu shake somebody up tell them from now from now be a tither be a tither if you want if you want to operate to operate in open heaven in open heaven amen amen it is a simple as that rahisi hivyo it is a simple ni rahisi as that jinsi hiyo amen How many are with me? 
Another principle of opening heaven. Kanuni nyingine ya bingu iliyofunguka. Is prayer and fasting. Ni maombi na kufunga. That is why from tomorrow we are taking 21 days of prayer and fasting. Kwa sababu kutoka kesho tunachukua siku 21 za kuomba na kufunga. Another principle of opening heaven is worship. Kanuni nyingine ya bingu kufunguka ni ibada, kuabudu. It is worship. Ni kuabudu. Worship. The Bible says God rests in the presence of his people. He comes down from heaven. Mungu inabibiria inasema anaketi kwenye sifa za watu wake na shuka kutoka And you mingu. remember when Jesus was born? Na unakumbuka Yesu alipozaliwa? Suddenly there was the heavens were open. Mingu zikafunguka. And there were angels. Wakawa na maraika. They came and they sang a song. Wakaja wakaimba nyimbo. Hosanna! Hosanna! And those on the earth the shepherds and the wise men they respond Wachungaji na mama juzi wakajibizana. And they was worship. Napakawa na ibada. For the first time. Kwa mara ya kwanza. The heavens and the earth. Bingu na dunia. They joined in worship. Zika ungana pamoja katika ibada. When Jesus was born. Yes, wali poko kizaliwa. And this is a principle of open heaven. Hii ni kanuni ya bingu kufungua. We will discover more as we continue. Tayendelea kujua mengi tunapoendelea. But now you cannot say. I am going to be a very good worshiper in 2019 and my worshiping will take the place of tithing. Ya kwamba nitakuwa mwabudio mkali sana 2019 wa mambo ya fungu kando sasa ni oh, I am going to be a tither ama, I will not be ama, I will not even be going to church to ama, worship mimi ni fungu la 10 itakuwa nikituma tu hata kanisa sure nitaenda kuabudu nitatuma tu kwa uaminifu yote that is not the right way sasa haiendi hivyo you must do all lazima usawazishe yote there is a place for each kuna mahali pa kila mmoja yake amen Amen. How many are with me bwana sifiwe? And then another thing, jambo lingine that is crucial. Ambalo ni muhimu. In about the open heaven. Kuhusu bingu iliyofunguka. He says here, I saw, nikaona. I saw, nikaona. Go back to Ezekiel 1:1. He says, and I saw, na nikaona. And I saw, na nikaona. And I saw, na nikaona. The heavens were open, bingu. and I saw, zikafunguka na nikaona. The Bible says Biblia inasema whatever your eyes shall see ma chochote macho yako yatakachoona you will possess utakimiliki I believe the heavens were still open there before but Ezekiel eyes were not open to see Bingu ilikuwa imefunguka hata hapo awali lakini labda Ezekiel hakuwa na macho iliyofunguka yakuona But on this specific day kwa siku hii his eyes were open Macho yake yakafunguka the eyes it is one thing for heavens to be open ni jambo moja bingu kufunguka and is another thing for your eyes to be open to see the open heavens na ni jambo lingine macho yako kufungukwa kuona bingu iliyofunguka heavens can remain open bingu inaweza kaa wazi but our eyes are closed lakini macho yetu hayako wazi so we are not able to see kwa hivyo hatuwezi kuona So it is important to see. Ni muhimu kuona. It is important to see. Ni muhimu kuona. Ezekiel says the heavens were open. Ezekiel anasema bingu ikafunguka. And I saw. Nami nikaona. The other exiles with him, they never saw the open heaven. Mateka wengine waliokuwa naye hawakuona bingu iliyofunguka. May you not be found to be a man or a woman who others will see the open heaven but you you are not able to see because your eyes are closed usiwe mme ama mwanamke ambaye wengine wataona bingu zikifunguka na wewe hauoni maana yake macho yako yamefunguka one of the things to cause you to see Jamu is the moja. word of god la kukuwezesha kuona ni neno la mungu the bible says biblia inasema the word of god through the word of god pitia neno la mungu the darkness in our eyes giza ilio macho yetu ina What does it mean to see? It means to get new ideas. It means to get a new vision. It means to see what others are not seeing. It means to live beyond what others are doing. Kuishi zaidi ya kile wengine wanachoishi kufanya. To connect with the supernatural. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember all the bright people say, Lord that I may see. Lord that I may see. Mwambia bwana bwana niweza kuona I pray the year 2019 Ninaomba mwaka 2019 our brightness shall be taken away Upofu wetu utaondolewa We shall see tutaona that business God has for you Shara ambayo Mungu amekutengea That dog God 
is opening for you. We shall see the opportunity. We shall see what God is doing. We will even see the land for the house of worship. We shall see your millions where they are held in the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody lift up and say, My father, my father. My father, my father. In the year 2019, may you cause me to see. May you cause me to see. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What did he see? He saw the visions of God. And I saw the visions of God. And I saw the visions of God. May God cause us to have our eyes to see. So that we may connect with the visions God has for us. May God give us the ability to see. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We will be studying these things in details. How to develop our seeing, our, our spiritual sight. And all that kind of a thing. But I also heard something else. In Joshua 19. Verse 8 and that 9. Please give me this. Because I want to say this and then I say another one thing I am done. It says, Ion, Migdo, El, Horem, Beth, Hanon, and Beth Shemes. There were 19 towns and their villages. Go to the other verse. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribes of Naphtali and clan by clan. Amen. Amen. As I was praying for 2019, I also had God put me in this one. That there were the cities of refuge. And there were towns. And they were located in different places. Ion, Migdol, El, Horem, Beth, Hanon, and, and Beth, Shemesh. And in total they were 19. And they were the inheritance of the people of the tribe of Naphtali. I heard the Lord put in my heart. As we talk of 2019, in the order of the book of Joshua chapter 19, God is causing us to see our inheritance. God has an inheritance. In the year 2019, 2019, because there were 19 centers of refuge that were inheritance for the people. And as we talk of open heaven, one of the things that God will cause us to operate in the open heaven, or why God is opening the heaven, is so that we may see and receive our inheritance. In the year 2019. Somebody lift up your hand. Say in the year 2019. In the year 2019. I declare it as my year. I declare of my inheritance. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Say like you believe it. Say 2019, 2019, 2019. 2019, 2019, 2019. Release my inheritance. Release my inheritance. In the city of Nairobi. In the city of Nairobi. In finances. In finances. In the inheritance of my in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name.